Hello everybody, Redstone here. <coughs> and I'm recording this on the sixth day. <laughs> I never take a break from you guys. Well, unless you count the weekends, which I don't get to do anything. So, in the last part we got here, gave some food to that dude, and he said he was going to give us gold. Um, that's helpful. I like gold. We're not hot here, so... Um, I actually attempted to record this before, but I, uh, kind of failed. So, re-recording it, and, uh, yeah. So, I did, uh, check out these dudes, and they weren't, I didn't really do anything with them that much. And, uh, we're still fine, and I gotta get this. This is helpful. Take over the present, got a thousand dollars. That's right, for no apparent reason, this present is just like, here you go, here's the money. And, um, yeah. So, um, we need to head over this way. We're sneaking along here. Here we go. Now we've seen this town before through the Skyrunner thingy, so um, it's not all that much of a surprise. Uh, you can guess the name right now. Guess. Let's see, we've been to Onet, Tucson, Reed. Wonder what this will be. It won't be four side now. Two, two, now. It's four sides. Depressingly. I mean, I like the puns, but like, I mean, I don't even know if the puns like should be stupid jokes. But I, I like, I like stupid jokes. So, um, what we do here isn't truly clear, so I'm just gonna investigate a little bit. Uh, I did a few things. I ended up coming here last, so I think that's what I'll do last. Whoa. Kinda lagging there. Um, I don't even remember which way I went to go see it. I like this music though. Is this it? Yep, this is it. The Monotoli building. Talk to this lady. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? Well, you'll find out when I get up there. Yeah. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Well, I wasn't really staring. I don't do that. I don't do that. So, um... So, yeah. Master... Master Pokey is here. And, uh... He's right in here. Oh, lord. Here we go. He looks really disturbing. Look at that. He looks like he got lipstick. And whatever that is, is that his nose? I don't know. Ooh la la! This is my poor old friend! Ah, what's your name? Pig's butt? Oh no, Nick! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do a German accent. But, um... Ahem. Yes, of course. Didn't you come- oh, sorry. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey, don't you get it? I am now Geldegard, my Tolly's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard there's some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, me? This isn't the place for the likes of you, dickheads. Get out of here. Now, loser. Oh, uh, and then we get escorted by his freaky bald bodyguards. It looks strong. Um, you must never show your face, wild monster pokey. You got that? Okay, Mr. Two Year Old Bodyguard. So if you go in here too. This dude. You haven't changed much, Nick. I am at Ale Alonius' niche. Pokey's dead. 
Due to my son's success, I now live a life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect problem to describe me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh ho. Ha ha. Hee ha. Ha Oh, my jaw. Sorry. Yes. You're also a dumbass. What? Damn, <coughs> dumbass. What? So yeah, Master Pokey, him in quotation, is a very rich man now. We can't go up the opposite elevator. I tried. Um, again, this episode won't be really blind because I've like done so much that I realized my audio didn't record. So uh, I hope my audio recorded now, or I'll be angry. Uh, I messed with it, so it should record. Um. So the next thing that I find strange. I don't know if it's meant to be like something or maybe it's just kind of like a thing that you should get because it's not supposed to go into yet. It is, I think it's over here. Oh, it's the hospital. There's a department store. Oh, fat lady. Uh, so there's a cafe here. So that's where you turn to get to the thing. You feel like so immersed when you play this game. I don't know why. What's this? A lot of junk. Back of the apartment store. Okay. Ah, I'm trying to find something that I don't know where it is. <laughs> Maybe it's more this way. Near the Monotoli building. I like this music, but it's really loud. To me, at least. Uh, it's blasting. Oh, there it is. Department store. So look. Temporary clothes, Borg. Creepy music. Okay. Oh my god, it's so loud, but I love it. <laughs> okay, so now we're supposed to go here. Oh, you yeah, already tickets. If you want to buy your phone, like to buy a ticket for like thirty dollars. See you later. So, let's go in here. Not like this fine gentleman. I know it's a lady, but it's a gentleman. So you're the one with five then, huh? What? Excuse me. No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they're in deep duty with the police. The police will probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay the million dollars on my behalf, you have to find buried gold. Or you would never be able to pay so much huge sum of money and junk. Hold on a second. started five minutes ago. Okay. I'm stopping it. Yeah, there, that's where I'll stop. So anyway, well, my five are in deep doo-doo again. She also mentioned buried gold, which is foreshadowing to that old man, uh, that guy in the desert we gave food to in exchange for treasure when he finds it. So, also, this guy is like, hey, let him in. We don't know your neck because he didn't say your neck because your character doesn't talk. Yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with the phony contract. Oh, yeah. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. Hey. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do wop, do wop, do that, bro. Do that. Uh, this is Connor, right here. That, that's Connor. That's Connor when he plays the saxophone. There he is. To me, kill the girl, mother told you you need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just orange. That's not how Connor talks, but I don't know. It's game to me. And here we got another show to enjoy. Hey, look, I got another 
bomb shell for you tonight, kids! Wow! Kaboom, the runaway fly, meow! Three, two, one, go! So, so I'm so, so, so sorry. Okay, have fun. I noticed that there's not five. I don't know why four, but now there's six. I'm confused. Maybe one of them's like a guest. No idea. No idea at all. No idea at all. All right, so nothing more we can do but go to the desert. Here we go. Let's go. Yes. Cool. Mario. Here we go. Head down. So anyway, oh, magic butterfly, do we need it? Good, 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 but I'll let you be, magic butterfly, I won't eat you this time. So what I know from this next boss thingy that we go to, it's not a sanctuary, so it's just a, some random boss thing. We want to keep Sophie alive. Sophie, I will keep you alive. Connor, you kind of matter, but our big thing we need to worry about is Sophie. Because her freeze comes in handy at one port. Now, the guy has been busy. I'll say that much. He's correct. So we'll go into this hole. Here he is. Hello? I didn't have a problem digging until I found this maze. Lots of monsters appear, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have bleeding also from worrying too much. I am helpless to do anything, really. Oh, okay. So that is dangerous. It may look like the enemy from the first part. But it's not. It's harmful. That is fine. That is cray. Running away is good. Going up again. Mad ducks are easy. But the, uh, that's what Connor faced at a certain point. Let's just mess around here. We just don't want any other enemies but the mad ducks. No enemies to be good to. You know what? Snakes aren't helpful. This episode might be extremely long and I'll be like, oh man. Good, good, good. We got rid of them. So I guess we'll head up. Even though left is normally the correct path to take when doing these things. Uh, yes. Oh man, I probably did something totally wrong. I'm at least so screwed. Okay. So we haven't fought one enemy yet. Okay, here's what I mean we'll need Sophie. I am one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. 
take your best shot. This is what I mean! Um, this is the only one I've fought, so the, the third strongest one is the only one I got. I don't know why they throw the third at you first, but oh well. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is defend. You don't want to use freeze. Freeze beta. You can shoot him. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Alright. So anyway, Sophie's Freeze is very powerful on this thing, so we just need to defend with the others and she needs to use Freeze. And we can take all of them out. There we go! Got five. <laughs> now level 31, sweet! Okay, there's a present up here, let's check it out. There's an IQ capsule. We want to give that to Connor. Cool. Okay. I have no idea where to go. Um. That's the front, isn't it? Yep, it's the front. Okay, the one I had left. And down. It's a maze, isn't it? It's a maze. Crap. Although I haven't fought any enemies yet, so that's... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Present, present. Sure. There's a big bottle rocket. I don't take it. Give that to Connor. I'm lagging a bit, I can tell by the sound. Doesn't have any space. Let me use those. Actually. I know for a fact we don't need this. If we have any more broken spray cans, we don't need that. Excuse me. Ugh, oh, like I said, sick. And let's give this to Connor. There we go. Big bottle rockets are what Connor uses for super attacks, like his his PSI powers, but they Okay, we're fighting this enemy. Here we go. Need the gigantic ant. Let's bash it. So if you use fire. And you can shoot Connor. Oh, sick! Yes! Sweet. That was easy. I hope you don't want to fight too many more of those anymore. Especially that. That is a dangerous one in me if I do this for some myself. It's like... <gasps> go back here. Spin around and go back up. That looks like a spider. It's not a spider. It's not. I hate spiders. Um. Oh god. More ropes and ladders. Oh, here's like one of the other ones. Uh, I'm gonna use healing on myself. Let's go. I am. Oh. Um. I am really the third strongest master, I'll destroy you in that way. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm really... I'm, I'm confused. Okay. He's the third. Um, I feel like... I feel like this is gonna be a joke. Oh god, it's gonna be a joke. Oh, I hit Sophie, of course! Wait, uh, PSI... Freeze Alpha 
and defend! Of course, she died. Poop! Alright. Oh, I need to use some rocket on this fool. And Connor, you can defend. Well, we're gonna have to go save Sophie. Ugh. I really... <sighs> Check. There's a point of defense. Sophie's gonna need that when we get back. I'm gonna get out of here. And in the next part, uh, we're gonna come back where we are now and defeat the rest of the moles. If I can get without a snake. Uh, why don't we just show walking around for a little bit? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna show something right here. I'm just gonna check the experiment. Uh, there's a croissant inside. Okay. We don't wanna talk to this dude. He looks like a really small mouse. He can leave you in a maze. Yes. I got an exit mouse. Okay, so now it's like an escape rope with Pokemon. Let's get out of here. And now. Aha. Connor took the exit mouse. Good. Alright. Use it. Don't worry, Sophie. We'll get back. Let's actually heal first. <sighs> well, I don't think you guys want to see me trek all the way back to Forsyth. So anyway, I'll on uh, the next episode I'll meet you back where we were. And, uh, maybe make Sophie a little bit stronger. <laughs> Alright, and then, see you then.